In this video, we'll be diving into Mistral's OCR, or Optical Character Recognition, which is now the world's best document understanding API. What makes Mistral OCR so exciting is that it has a high level of understanding in documents that are complex. So in this case, we have a document that has uh, pictures as well as text and charts. So on the right, you see the OCR result. So as we go to the left, we see how the OCR result renders very, very close to the original document. Additionally, this happens also for documents with equations such as this, as well as multi-languages. In this project, we'll be using Mistral's OCR API to take a complex financial PDF with diagrams, charts, multi-column text, and using it as a basis for an eight-page deep research report or a short 1,500-word newsletter. Let's see this in action. We're going to start the workflow and we're going to select the PDF file. So we'll select this one. And there's two levels of uh, research depth. You can have a deep research, which is about eight pages, 3,500 words, or a shorter newsletter, about uh, 1,750 words. So we'll select the newsletter for now. And then we're going to give it some additional instructions. So in this instruction, because there's a lot of numerical analysis and quanti quantitative analysis in this PDF, so we'll just ask it to just focus a little bit more on the quantitative analysis for the supporting evidence, and then give us some additional instructions to uh, make sure to cover uh, any growth uh, catalyst in that uh, report. So we'll go ahead and submit this. And then so the workflow will start by uploading the PDF into the Mistral Cloud and then uh, getting a signed URL so that uh, we can uh, start working with it. So uh, this part here in gray, this is the core uh, research team that we've seen in uh, previous videos, uh, but this is uh, modified uh, with this uh, Mistral PDF Q&A. So this uh, tool is uh, using also the uh, Mistral OCR, uh, and it has this document understanding so that you can upload your PDF to it. And then uh, the Q&A that comes from the research leader and the project planner in our team of research agents, as well as the research assistants, they will all be using the uh, Mistral PDF uh, tool and it'll work uh, into this workflow here and then uh, use the Mistral's uh, document understanding API to uh, query um, the document. So we'll let this uh, progress and then you'll see the result at the end of this. Now that uh, the run is complete, it's generated a email uh, with the details of that analysis. So historical context, current market position and strategic focus, financial performance and growth projections, strategic growth catalysts and future outlook and conclusions. And of course, you can just take that email and paste it into a newsletter tool such as Kit and start working with it. So let's do a detailed uh, note by note walkthrough. So starting from the left, we have a form note. So if you go to the palette here, search NA10 and the form, and it's this trigger node here. So we select that. After you select that, you open it up and uh, it's just very simple set of form elements, a uh, field name that is a file type that we specify the file and it's a required field. Another field name with a dropdown type that we specify the different options. So if you have, if you want more options, you can add more here. And then uh, that is uh, the second one. And the third one is the additional um, text field, and this is an optional field. So the next uh, two nodes deal with uh, Mistral PDF processing. So after I get the PDF uh, from the user, I want to upload this to the Mistral cloud. And then from there, I want to get a URL that points me to uh, what I've uh, uploaded. And this is a signed URL that you can specify uh, the duration that it expires. So let's go and take a look at the docs for that. So the first thing is uh, in the Mistral docs is uh, OCR with uploaded PDF, All right? So this is the curl command for it. So you can select this. And then um, I'll take a look at, at this uh, node here. So it's a post method and you have this information here. So let me just show you how this is easily done. So you can just go HTTP, so create this node. And then from here, you can do an import curl. All right, so then you do an import and it'll fill in uh, this information for you. Now, the only thing that you want to change here is the headers. So you, we don't want to send the headers uh, because that's really uh, the authentication. So you can just specify here that it's a predefined credential type and it's uh, Mistral Cloud, All right? So we'll have Mistral Cloud here, All right? And then this is uh, where uh, this account is 
using the API key from Mistral Cloud. And then the rest here uh, is from the curl command, right? And then this input uh, field name, uh, all we need to do is hook that up to uh, the, the form submission. So I'll go ahead and, and do that. I'll hook it up to here just to give you an example of how this is done. And then uh, once this is executed, then uh, it'll have a field called a PDF file. And that's how you hook it up, right? So I'll delete this, uh, but that's how this node is created. And similarly for this node here, uh, it's also similarly, um, so you wanna get uh, the signed URL. So you once again, take the curl here, right? And uh, th this node here is just created using an import curl, right? Like this and an import. And then it gives you all the different parameters and you can specify here an expiration. So the default here is uh, 24 hours, but you can specify that as expiring after one hour, right? So uh, you can control that. All right, so let's move to the next node. So this is the research leader and their responsibility is to build a table of contents uh, based on the PDF. So we're using uh, Open Router. So Open Router is the uh, large language model provider and we're using the OpenAI uh, O3 mini. So this is a, a very good model uh, that has a good uh, performance uh, cost ratio. So we're using uh, O3. All right, let's open up the prompt for the research leader. So inside here, uh, it's uh, telling it uh, the persona of research leader and uh, what it's tasked to do and uh, specifying specifically to use uh, the tool, the Mistral tool uh, Q&A uh, as uh, the data source and then thoroughly understand it and then synthesize it, uh, create a comprehensive table of contents, which is then gonna be passed into uh, the next node, uh, which is project planner. And then here's some examples of uh, table contents. And then um, I, I, I specify here additional instructions. So this is where from the form, uh, the additional instructions um, are uh, given to the research leader. So this tool here calls into this workflow. All right, so let's open this up and I'm specifying the tool name and uh, telling it that uh, it's useful when conducting research using PDF uh, uploaded to Mistral and use this tool uh, and some specifications here. And what I do here is uh, um, specify the uh, workload uh, workflow input. So uh, I have a PDF URL. Uh, so this is a URL that I get from the uh, sign service from Mistral and then uh, the query. So this is automatically defined by the model. So let me just show you how this is created. So we'll uh, select here, uh, tools, tools here. And I'm gonna use the call and attend workflow. All right, so then this is where I fill in my parameter. So I'll just uh, copy it from here just to give you guys a sense of how this works. So you do this and specify the name. I'll specify the description here as well. And what I do here is um, I'm gonna use an expression and I'm gonna tell it that this is from the workflow ID, All right? So uh, it's this ID that it's gonna get and that means that it's uh, calling this workflow here, all right? So it's doing that, but uh, what I'm doing here is on this side here, um, this is what, where I specify the parameter. So I want to do a input a PDF uh, URL. So this is where I pass into this uh, workflow tool, the PDF, uh, the URL to the sign, signed uh, P PDF, and then uh, the query uh, that uh, the research leader is interested in uh, finding an answer to. All right, so this is how this uh, node is built, right? So you can see the completed uh, workflow here. So I'm getting the, uh, the PDF URL from the previous node, and then it gets passed into this workflow here, uh, this PDF URL, and then the string. So now following this workflow, I'm gonna go into uh, this document understanding, all right? So this document understanding is another uh, Mistral um, another Mistral uh, call. So if you go down here, uh, you'll see that the document understanding uh, consists of two steps. So we uh, extract it as what we did before. And then there's the large language model understanding. And this is actually just coming uh, directly uh, from the uh, completions URL, All right? So I'm gonna copy this and it's very, very similar process as what we've done before. So you just go import curl and then go like this, right? And then 
similarly, uh, the author authorization, uh, we don't use the header. Uh, we just use the predefined uh, ones here, right? So, so basically, that's how uh, you build uh, this node. And then, of course, uh, the output of that is sent to this response. So the next node is going to be the project planner. So it uh, takes the output from the research leader, which has built a table of contents representing what's in the PDF document. Uh, and it's going to uh, break that down so that it uh, plans the work and delegates to the research assistant. So I'm using GPT-4 as a model because I find that it's uh, quite good at uh, uh, taking the structured output. So I'm saying in the structured output node here that uh, the output needs to be of a certain form of JSON that has introduction conclusions, uh, and then um, an optional image prompt here, and then uh, an array uh, or a, a list of chapters. So these are the different uh, sections uh, in, um, in the report. So what this will do then is, uh, again, also uh, use the uh, Mistral uh, PDF tool. So it'll, it'll call this tool to get uh, more information about the document as it breaks down uh, the work to the writers. All right, so let's just open up the uh, project planner. So uh, it's actually very, very straightforward uh, note here. You just uh, are telling it some instructions uh, to uh, create a title, uh, subtitle, and uh, the uh, the introduction should be 300 uh, words, the conclusion about 300 words. And then um, there's uh, a check here. If the uh, research depth is uh, deep, then have eight chapters. If it's newsletter, then have four chapters, right? So this is where, um, the information of the research depth is captured here from the form. So, uh, you know, depending on what the user selected, uh, we, we do this. And then, um, uh, you know, this is the set of uh, topics to create the chapter. So this is uh, from the uh, research leader. We capture that output and then put into here. And then, uh, and then here also is where we capture the additional instructions from the form. Now then following that, we have the standard uh, delegation to the research assistant. So this parallelizes to many uh, nodes. So each of these nodes will have a specific prompt that uh, then the research agent, uh, our research assistants will each have uh, a prompt that um, uh, corresponds to uh, one of the sections of the report. And again, in this node, uh, I'm using uh, uh, 03. Uh, O3, I, I found, O3 mini, I should say, uh, works quite well uh, in this uh, particular uh, node. So um, again, we also have access to a Mistral a PDF. So what's gonna happen here is uh, this set of research agents, each of them will be researching their part and they'll be using the uh, Mistral PDF tool here uh, to get information about each of the parts that it's doing research. And of course we combine everything after that and then uh, aggregate that and then have the editor then put everything together and then create a title and then send that to uh, my Gmail.